Hey guys, welcome back to Handmade Home. I'm Hester, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your own handbag. So I really want a new handbag, something big enough to hold a magazine, a bottle of water, my wallet, but not too big like the bags I use when I go to town and have to bring my laptop. But I couldn't find anything I liked. I found this one bag I really liked, which is a J Crew bag. It was £100 and I thought it was way too expensive for just an extra bag. So I thought maybe there's a way I could make my own. Have a look at how I got on. You will need two different kinds of fabric. I like it when they clash a bit. So I'm using this striped linen on the outside and this coral upholstery fabric on the inside. I'm using upholstery because it's a bit more sturdy. You also need some trim, some chain and a zipper is optional. Cut the outer fabric and the lining into a rectangle that is 84 by 32 centimeters. Also cut a piece of lining 22 by 21 centimeters. Iron the fabric so it's nice and easy to work with. And on the small piece of fabric, also iron the hem, which is one centimeter. And stitch the hem in place. Now fold over the top four centimeters of the small piece, pin in place and stitch. Now put this pocket you created in the middle of your lining fabric, seven centimeters from the top, pin in place and stitch in place. Put your mobile phone in this pocket and put a few pins in the place where you need to stitch it just to make sure your phone is nice and secure in the pocket. And stitch this line with the machine. Lay your outer fabric on a table with the right side facing up and put the lining fabric on top with the right side facing down. Line up, pin in place and it's time to stitch. You're going to stitch two of the long sides and one of the short sides. I also put a zigzag on the stitches to make them extra strong. And then turn your bag the right way around. Once again, iron the fabric nice and flat. And also iron in the top hem, which is 2cm on the top. Just fold over and press in place. And then you're going to stitch this in place. Now fold your bag in half. You want the lining facing up. Pin in place. And then you're going to stitch the sides and turn your bag the right way around. You now have a basic bag and you can decide if you want to keep it open, if you want to put a big popper in the middle or if you want to put a zipper on the top. I chose the zipper option so I stitched that one in place. Now it's time to attach the chain and if you choose the zipper option make sure there's a little hole left between the end of the bag and your zipper. Push that through a little hole and have sort of roughly 5 cm inside the bag and then you're going to stitch this in place. Use an extra strong thread and really make sure this is super secure because all the weight of your bag is going to hang from here. So what I've done, I've done 5 stitches per little chain piece and I stitch them on both sides and after 5 stitches I also stitch the bag again. So I went through the stitches themselves and back into the bag. As you can see it on both sides just to make sure it's super super strong. To decide how long your chain needs to be, put the bag over your shoulder and with a bit of washi tape mark where you need to cut the chain. Use the pliers to cut the chain to length. And also stitch this in place on the inside of your bag in the same way. So extra strong thread and make sure it's really really secure because all the weight of your inside of the bag is going to hang from this chain. I bought this trim because I want to put this on the bottom of the bag because I thought it's a really nice bit of decoration and the pink picks up the lining color as well. But looking at it now I think it's way too heavy. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut the tassels off and attach only the tassels to the bottom of the bag. I used the contrasting pink thread for this, I just attached it to the bag and then I stitched the tassel to the bag. And what I've also done with this pink thread, I wrapped it around the tassel just for an extra pop of pink. And your bag is ready! Thank you. 
super easy to make and for me this is the perfect summer bag because of the linen and the tassels and the hint of coral on the inside this is such a handy bag when you meet up with friends or you go over to town for a bit of shopping or you go to the beach don't put too much heavy things in the bag though because the chain that goes around your shoulder will really start to dig in this is more like a lightweight bag for just the little everyday things you want to have on you when you go outside your house if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and have a look on my website hestershandmadehome.com for more craft and lifestyle tutorials. And I'll be back next week with a new video. See you then!